Hi everybody, welcome back to Day Trip Vintage Company. This is Julie and today we have the long awaited, must, much anticipated glue stick showdown. My daughter Taylor is here helping me today. She'll be helping me take notes and um, as we go through the rating system, she'll be helping me. We have picked six different brands of glue to test today. I took feedback from a lot of my crafty friends in the community and I had added a few more that I was curious about. All of these were purchased on Amazon. In addition to rating them, we'll also be providing the Amazon cost per ounce at the end. And let's go over the ones that we picked for today. This is the Avery glue stick. It is washable and acid free. We have the Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength Glue Stick, and it says Permanent Bond. We also have the Prit Original. Uh, it says 97% natural, 100% strong. We have added the Scotch Purple Glue Stick, the Mono or Tombow brand mono glue stick. It also says permanent. And last of all, we have the Uhu stick, which is, oh, I can't even read this. Oh, here we go. Nope, strong and fast. <laughs> it's a strong and fast. And the way that we will be testing each of these is we will be working with a matte vintage book page and also um, glossy magazine pieces. And we will be gluing them to both glossy book page and cardstock, which mm, it has a little bit of gloss to it, but I would say it, it would qualify as matte. Don't you think, Taylor? I think it qualifies as matte. And we will be doing a rating system four being excellent, three being very good, two good, and one poor. And what we are planning on doing is gluing the book page and the magazine page to each of these substrates. And then we will come back tomorrow. We'll let them dry 24 hours and come back tomorrow and do a pull test. Um, not everybody's pulling their work off, but we thought that would give them enough time to dry. And we'll also do observations of, you know, are they sticky? Are they dry? Is there crackiness once they're dry? So we'll be doing some observations along the way. So I think let's get started. I'm going to hand this graph off to Taylor. And what do I start with? The cardstock? Okay, great. Okay, so I'm just going to go down and do all the book page first, right? I think that's easiest. I'm going to turn it this way and hope that we um, I have everything. Okay, so we're starting with the Avery. Let's see how that is. Okay, observationally, it is nice and smooth. It's a very smooth feeling glue. And I'm being liberal. I'm applying a lot. Um, pretty much the same that I would if I was gluing down a project. There's another book page. And here we have the Elmers. I would say this one goes on very easy, easy as well. Gluing down to my glue book there. Should we be using a um, a card or no? I think it's good. Okay. Next is the Prit. Okay, Prit is dry. Feels kind of dry. Does it feel dry or does it feel sticky? Um, it's sticky. I think I'll hand it over to you too and you can kind of see I don't know it just felt a little bit drier didn't feel like it was going on as smooth I hand that one over to you 
Uh, next is the scotch. I think, I believe, yes, I believe the scotch is the only purple that we are testing today. I think the rest are all clear. I do like a purple glue. I like to see where where the glue is going. Any observations about the scotch? Oh, it, you know what? It was it was very um, it was nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. It was nice and smooth. Ooh, I don't like this one. The Tombow. Mm, I don't know. Maybe once you you know we're using these brand new. Maybe once you get going, it's smooth. That first initial seemed a little bit dry. And then we have the ooh -hoo. Oh, where does this open? Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe it's a twist top. Ooh, the one thing I do like about this one, and also I should say the Avery, I like the size. It really covers a lot of area. I would say we should put that for both the Avery and the Uhu. The, the size of the stick is nice. I don't know how they will. And I think this is the only one that has the, yeah. The Uhu has a, has a, I'm going to be extra, kind of a little extra, and I'm going to come back with my credit card and just burnish those down. Just, just to be fair. Okay. Now I am moving on to the magazine pages and these are, um, you know, lightweight, lightweight magazine pages. I'm gonna turn my blue blue book over here. Okay, Elmer's. Is there anything different between the book page and the magazine? No. I mean, book page is a little bit. I mean, a magazine, it's much thinner. Mm -hmm. So I always feel like I need to be a little bit more de delicate. Oh, will you have me the print back over? Let me see how it is with the magazine page. This is sticky, right? Did yeah. you think? Did you feel like it? Oh, it's just, it's really sticking, which is maybe. I mean, it's a good thing, but you definitely have to be careful with anything that's delicate, I would say. Did you see that one's also crumbly? Crumbly? Like well, we won't know. We won't know. Oh, you mean when I'm doing this? Yeah. Yeah, they all sort of, you know, you could see the little pieces and parts there. Mm -hmm. Definitely have um, glue balls. <laughs> glue balls going on, I think, with all of them. Okay, make sure I have the right one. Here's the scotch, our scotch purple. It is nice and smooth. A little bit extra there. Now we're on to the mono. I keep saying mono, it's Tombow. Yeah, I think the name is Tombow mono. Yeah, I have the, um, which I've used and you guys have seen in a lot of my tutorials, I've been playing around with the aqua, aqua? Mono Tombow, is that what it is? Aqua mono. Yeah, I guess they all have mono in their name. Okay, and then we're on to the Uhu. Keeps messing me up because of the screw top. <laughs> okay. And we'll come back and I will burnish those down. And everything is on screen.
just so we burnished and give them a fair chance to perform well. Okay, I'm gonna set our cardstock aside and then grab my uh, glossy book page. Same thing, I'll put it here to the, maybe, you know what, I will be more efficient and I will do both the book page and the magazine at once. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. So we have book page and magazine. Sometimes it takes me a while to become efficient. <laughs> <laughs> my brain doesn't always work that way. Okay. Oh, much better. Elmer's. And at the end, when we get to the cost, I think I'll, I'll talk about that right now too. I am working off of price per ounce on Amazon uh, and obviously once we get to that point um, what you can find the glue for some in fact some of these glues are not made in the US I think one is maybe Germany uh, yeah so um, what you may pay for the uh, glue sticks may be different than what I pay and so I just went for ease of purchase and went ahead and purchased them all on Amazon. And I tried to find the least expensive. In fact, some of them I did buy multiple, um, multi-packs. Two, maybe one of them, even three. And I'll show that at the end too, sort of what the packaging was and let you know how many I bought at a time. Okay, Scotch Purple. I think I said that before, I really do like how smooth the Scotch Purple is. It's nice. Almost feels like a glue that maybe takes longer to dry, but I'm not really sure. to our mono, our Tombow. this opens. Wait a minute. Here we go. It's confusing me. Great coverage with these big sticks. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick burnishing. And if you were gluing, maybe you would come in and burnish quicker than I am, but I think in most cases, these still feel um, pretty wet. All right, there we have it. And we are gonna cut here and be back tomorrow with the pull test. So pull test is we're gonna come in and see if we can get any corners up and pull away 
and see what the results of that are. All right, we will be back. Okay, everybody, we are back. If you are a very observant individual, you may notice that the pages <laughs> look slightly different, and they do. Um, I had some technical difficulties, and we um, were not able to capture <laughs> our original testing and our um, observations, so we started over. But all the circumstances are the same. The drying time, um, the amount of glue we use, the burnishing, we also use the same paper, same cardstock, same glossy paper from the same book. So we try to keep everything the same, same, same. And as Taylor said, it's even more scientific now <laughs> because we are, we're t basically testing it twice because we know what the results were the first time, but you, you will not. Um, and to remind ourselves, the rating system is four for excellent, three for very good, two for good, and one for poor. Okay, I'm gonna hand this off to Taylor. And I am going to get into the removal and the ripping. Okay, I'm starting, huh? Oh yeah, that's right. I said I was going to see like cracking. I think we're pretty good there. Um, we didn't, we had very little bowing on the card stock. We had a little bit of bowing um, with the glossy book page, but that's to kind of be expected. It, it is much thinner. And yeah, I think they're good. I think we, I think we are good, okay. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Avery here. Oh, do I start with the magazine? Whatever. What do you magazine. have? Magazine on your thing. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to pull off. And this is just a pull test to see how well it sticks. So we're getting some, but it's pretty much just leaving that the, the top layer, the ink. It's actually coming off fairly easy. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna leave a little bit up to Taylor. Um, I might be a little bit too biased. <laughs> Some of my things since I use, I use glue more often than she does. I think that's a three, yeah. I would, I agree, consensus, okay. Um, which that's actually looks cool. Okay, now the book page. So we're just getting that sort of back layers coming off, but it's it's pretty well adhered. Four? Yeah, I would say a four. I would say a four. Yep, four. Okay, Elmer's. All right, this. Two. Yeah, that came off. Um, way kind of too easy I'm not, and I'm not gonna keep picking at the whole thing but that's that was pretty pretty easy and it goes without saying we're all not um, pulling off our book pages but I thought this was a, a great way to really test the adhesion um, so that came off pretty easy but the that bottom layer yeah I would say this is a three I would say that's a three now onto the print. I'm not really getting anything. I probably should not have been gardening. I don't have a lot of nails left. Well, we're not, we're really getting not much of anything. Just that top layer. I think that's a four. Yeah, that's a four. I don't know, leave a comment. Do you think I should have left one of the corners popped up a little bit? Probably not, I don't know. Wow, so I think the print is a four. I think this is a four. Yeah, that's a four. Okay, scotch. Yeah, I would say Three to a four, yeah. I mean, I got a little bit there. It's 
pretty much sticky. Well, no. I'm going to say this is a three. A three. Or do you want to do a two? Okay, let's do a two. Yeah, because it did. We have, we have white showing. Yeah, okay. Taylor's keeping me. <laughs> She's keeping me in line. All right, I'm not really getting much of anything here. Yeah, we're gonna call, call this one a four. Okay, onto the book page. Three. No, I'm gonna say a four because four. just that back, just the, just the back came off, yeah. And to me too, when just that back is coming off, it, I mean, that where the, where the glue is, it is, it is down, right? I feel like, I feel like that's a four. Mm -hmm. Were we a four here for the print? Yeah, the print. Yeah, four. okay. Lordy B, on my nails. I think I did too, because they were so bad from gardening and now. Well, I'm not really, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a four. Can we give it a five? Let's stop, let's add, let's add another. No, I, yeah, definitely a four. Wow. So the, yeah, it's kind of three, three to a four. Um, we have a little bit of white here, but that, that top layer of print really is stuck down. All right, yeah, yeah, I think that's okay. All right, okay, now on to the glossy book page. Okay, Avery, this is gonna be interesting to see what it's like glossy on glossy. I'm not getting much. So if you are a collage artist and you're doing glossy on glossy and you're working with a lot of magazine pages, four. it may be, yeah, this is a four. Maybe the glue for you. Avery on the book page. A lot of these, I it's it's subjective. It could be between a three and a four. Yeah. I'm not getting much up here. Well, a little bit has come up, um, just right there, but you can see so three. Mm -hmm. So you get three. Well, I want to say a three just because I don't know. Some of it came up. Let me see what this end is. Let me see what this end is. Wow, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I want to try this technique just to see what happens. It's very cool. I don't know, they're really four. adhered. Yeah, let's give it a four. Especially because a lot of that ink this will be really interesting. So after we do the pull test, Taylor will tally up the numbers and we will see where we're at. Four. <sighs> four. Yeah, four. I mean, because that's that bottom layer. Okay, scotch. This is a pretty tight race. It's a pretty tight race. I don't know. Let's do it a three, because okay. I'm kind of like, if I work, yeah. 
I mean, I see some of the book page. Let's do it. <laughs> if this is your glue and you're screaming, I'm sorry. Um, okay, scotch. Three. Yeah, let's call this a three. Especially because it's such a, like, I feel like they're performing well. Maybe we should have picked one that was a, like a bad. I should have, um, I should have tossed my cheapy Office Depot one that I'm not happy with. I should have tossed that one into the ring, probably. Um, wow, I think this is a four. Yeah, I'm not getting anything up. Okay, nails. <laughs> Three more, hang in there. This one might be a four also. I'm gonna call it a four. It's hard, it's hard. Mm -hmm. I probably am supposed to be scraping, trying to get a... Three. Just because it's so tight, I feel like it's a pretty tight race. And ooh-hoo. Yeah, three. I mean, we're not doing halfsies, but maybe it's a three and a half. Or should we do it a three? Okay. All right. We are going to cut here um, just so this isn't a super long video. And we will be back with the tallied results and we'll talk pricing. Okay. We are back with the results. Very interesting, I have to say. Uh, first of all, Avery came in at a 14. Elmer's came in at 11, Pritt at a 16, Scotch at a 12, Tombow at a 16, so Tombow and Pritt, Pritt tied, and Uhu came in at a 12. So Elmer's was the worst performing in our test, and Pritt and Tombow were the best performing. Now, let's go over pricing. And again, I purchased all of these on Amazon, so these are Amazon pricing. You may find better pricing locally or in your country. Um, we are from the United States. Some of these glues are made and produced outside of the US. Um, Avery came in a single tube. It is, um, uh, it was 1.27 ounce, this is a biggie. And it came in at $3.88 per ounce, $3.88 per ounce. Elmer's, I bought that, uh, this in a four pack. It was $6.29 for the four pack. Each tube is 0.21 ounces, and it came in at $7.49 per ounce. So this is the most expensive. Interesting, most expensive Amazon pricing, and it performed. Um, uh, Pritt, this was a single tube. Um, the size is 0.78 ounces and it comes in at $5.65 per ounce. Actually, it's grams, so we had to calculate 22 grams and we had to figure out what the ounces were. So that's how we came up with our calculation. And please do, if you're looking at this and we've made a mistake on the mathematical side, definitely correct us down below. We love to know that and then we can correct it. We can pin it. Uh, let's see, Scotch uh, was in, I purchased this in a two pack. Each tube is 0.28 ounces and it comes out to $6.25 per ounce. Uh, the Tombow, uh, this was in a three pack. It was 4.47. Each tube is 0.35 ounces and this comes in at 4.26 per ounce. And the Uhu, another big uh, tube here, like the Avery, this came in a two pack. It was $8.25. Uh, but because it's so, well, 40 grams is the size, and that comes out to 1.4 ounces. And this is the least expensive, expensive at $2.95 per ounce. 
so let's see. Least expensive is Uhu. Um, yeah, next one is Avery at 388. And Tombow is the third, uh, third least expensive, and it's one of the top performers here. So that's kind of interesting to see that. So there you go. Those are our results. Um, it was fun. It was quite an experience. Would you say, Taylor? <laughs> Uh, yes, as I was saying to Taylor earlier, I'm not a professional <laughs> YouTuber, so it was very interesting tackling something like this and taking it on, but it was fun. We had a lot of fun doing it together with a, a lot of giggles, a lot of laughs, um, especially having to redo part of it. Um, so I will be putting uh, the links below, the Amazon links to all these glues and I wish I had, I mean, for sure the Tombow is going into my glue caddy here. Um, it's, you know, not super expensive and um, it performed really well. And I did not like the sticky kind of dryness of the print, but I have to say that's probably what allowed it to perform so well. So I think maybe that sticky dryness um, that I don't love. I love the smoothness of scotch and even though it's coming in you know a little bit higher there price wise that one's probably going to go in my glue caddy so obviously I have lots of glue sticks so you'll be seeing me use all of the above at my vintage craft and chats until I've used them up but that's it Leave us a comment if you see anything where we went amiss or anything we should have tested differently. Um, if there's a glue stick that you love that we didn't test, let us know that too. Maybe we'll do a round two. And I think it maybe would be fun to do a liquid glue test, like Art Glitter and the, the Bear one and the Tombow Aqua and Elmer's and Mod Podge. I don't know. Um, let us know. And thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Leave us a comment. And Subscribe if you loved it.